The next string function is concat underscore ws. Concat ws is used to add two or more strings together with a separator. Let's take a look at that. Let's open up a new query box and I'll comment this out and I'll just call this concat ws string function. Now in the earlier one we looked at the concat string function and we added this blank value to separate each of our columns. Now imagine we have to string together 10 columns, having to type in this space, you know, this empty value each time is a bit of a tedious work. Is there a way we can pass this empty value once and have it affect all of our, you know, and have it separate each of our columns? And the answer is yes. And the way to achieve that is by using concat ws. So let's try and Let's walk, let's do that now. So we start by writing the select keyword. The first column we need is title. Okay. And now we'll write concat ws. And what's the separator we want to use? Because we're making the statement, what we want to do is just replicate this, but instead of having to type in the space every time, we want to write it once and have it passed all through the query. So the first thing is that we have our title, and then we use concat ws. And what's the separator we want to use? That's the space. And and this could be anything. We could we could add comma into the space we could have and, and we'll, we'll try that later but for now we're just going to keep that as space all right so that's what we want to pass all true and now what's the next value the, the next character value we want to to have all right was written by we close that so now we just want the auto first name We, we want the auto last name, then from books. So let's quickly go through this. Let's see. And we have to close this. Okay, so we, this is saying we select the title. Now concatenate the title with auto first name and auto last name but then we want to pass this blank between all of the all of the columns when we run this so now we've achieved the same thing with fewer codes so instead of us would have had to like include the space everywhere like after was written by after auto auto first name but now we just pass it once and it affects the all like it affects all of the the query we can then say as and we'll call this auto and books all right so that's the way concat underscore ws works and like i said let's copy this we can replace this blank we could d decide to put a comma you know to separate each of our columns with with a col comma when we run this. Now we see that, you know, was written by Brian Steven. There's a comma, that's what's separating it. Um, in this case, that wouldn't make sense, but essentially this is just to say that we could, you know, we could use whatever we choose to separate our, to separate our columns. So that's how to use concat ws.